You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Alright guys, I decided to make a quick video To talk about this new Goofy looking outfit I know a lot of people are like I am not gonna wear that crap well, as you guys can see from the title, this crap <laughs> is actually pretty, what's the word? Everyone's favorite word, OP, overpowered, broken. Yeah, apparently, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go into the 1010 shop, they added an update of all the new clothes. Every time the mentor is going to be dropping, first off, they give us the, the character to use, the mentor himself. And then the following day, you can use all the jitsus on your character, the outfits, the hair, and so on. Anyways, as you guys can see here, featured items in the Tencent shop. All these right here, attack type accessory. Custom ninja outfit attack type. There's for the males, and then they have it for the females. The females happen to have it like little straps on their arms, so it's slightly different customization. With that, the socks, and little little things here and there. I don't understand why, but all right, whatever. It is what it is. They brought back the freaking wind uh, release, um, what you call it, tool. A lot of people don't like it. You just gotta learn how to work with it, the mechanics, because the tracking on that is actually pretty crazy. But yeah, guys, there's a few other outfits in here. They don't have any special effects except for the attack type that I'm wearing. The most broken one. I was really hoping they gave us a new weapon, a new ninja tool, instead of giving us the old ones. If they gave us the old ones, they should have gave us a new one as well to try to grind for. Anyways, that's where you get the item. And it's a uh, luck of the draw. When you're pulling out the scrolls, you just gotta hope you get it. I think you have to blow up maybe 500 scrolls, and maybe you'd be lucky to get one of these parts. For those who are wondering, it's a full set. It's nothing different. It's not split up. And I would not recommend changing these stats. Unless you have more than one set. The reason why I'm saying this is because for this attack type, if you look at his stats, or skills, whatever they want to call it, it's not your normal skills that you could get. These are not stuff you could find in the Tencent shop at all. As you guys can see here, it tells you for the top piece, boost damage dealt by close range attacks and ninjutsus. However, it also reduces maximum health. I was like, okay, so they make them super strong, doing all that close range damage, but their health is freaking poop. So they're probably going to die in an instant, especially if you're running instant kill builds with a defense type, attack type. Pretty much everyone has an instant kill build. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But yeah, and as you can see here, boost attack if, um, uh, evasion and reduces substitution cooldown time. I was like, why would you boost that? So you're gonna boost invasion, so I guess like chasing to your opponent to do a quick attacks. So the top also boosts damage from close range. And however, it shortens the amount of time the enemy suffers from status elements. Who, I don't think anybody cares for that half. Because if you're an attack type, you don't run stuff to burn them, stun them, paralyze them. Well, some people use the stunning kunais and stuff like that. But I rather use the regular kunai to do my combos longer with this build. Because that's pretty nice. It has all those effects. There's... I don't know stuff for... Okay, it doesn't even tell you the whole thing because you can see some words cut off. That's kind of weird. But yeah. Boosting the attack evasion and reduce substitution cooldown time for an attacker? It's freaking nice, especially since an attacker could actually run the the freaking what you call it. If I can find it real quick, the shadow gun, because that also copies and acts like a substitution as well. So um, there's probably gonna be something glitchy with that. I wouldn't doubt it. Or people could probably do it way too often, way too fast. And not only that, the little goofy accessory, the this one right here the horns they look I, I honestly I like the way they look but what sucks is these outfits and accessories are only meant for an attack type that's why everything else is shaded in dark 
Every the only one you can use this for is attack types. I'm saying this over and over because I know some people are gonna try to use it for other types. And as you guys can see for the horns, boost damage dealt to enemies when your combo reaches 10 hits or higher. People who main attack types can easily do 10 hits or higher. And if honestly, they could probably do like 20 hits, easy, without even trying. So why would they have all these boosts? So you're boosting damage with all three combined to make your attacks even stronger. And for those who don't know, in this game, there's tons of cancellations. Some cancellations are way better than others. And to me, one of the popular top ones to me is Osmo's um, Ninja Knuckle Knives. Uh, that's just my opinion. Look at the way the stats are on the bottom. So all you gotta do is look for similar stats like that, and it's gonna fight the exact same way for those other ones. So all these up here, the regular ones, let me see what else is there. There's actually quite a few. The claws can honestly kind of work too with the little infinite loops. But people like being flashy with the jabbing. So even the boxing gloves happens to have like a little jab. But yeah guys, this build is going to be way too broken. The only thing is, I think the reason why they made it where your health is lower. Is the fact that you can kill people too damn quick. Too easy. I was like, alright, whatever. Some people might want to change the stats on here, but like I said, if you change the stats, you're not going to get them back. These are unique stats that only come from 1010 from this outfit set. I was like, okay. At least that's how it is set up when you're playing as an attack type. Attack type. A male, uh, a male gender. I don't know if there's difference between the genders. I haven't got the female one yet. 20 minutes later. Alright guys, I did a little bit of grinding to get the outfit. I ended up having to waste all my aesthetic or whatever that last freaking scroll thing is called. I had to waste a bunch of those in order to get this freaking outfit. And for those who are wondering if the stats or anything are different, it turns out they're the exact same. I was like, alright, whatever. At least now I have both of the outfits. But yeah guys, like I was saying, these stats for an attack type for these goofy clothes, it looks way better to me on a female than it does on a male. I guess because they actually make it look more feminine too with the skirt like and all that. But yeah, oh wow, they even have heels? Okay, whatever. But yeah, like I said, these stats are broken for an attack type. Perfect for face off. Perfect for base battles. And the reason why I'm saying for base battles for people who play as an attack type is if you do those 1v1s with those people that like to stay by themselves and defend a base, which is usually like B, well, it depends on the map. They usually have one person stay off on the one that's off on its own. But yeah, like I said, all these combine, and if you have a really good healer, because you're going to need a good healer, considering that your health is dropped wearing this set. You're going to be pretty powerful, even if you have a combat healer with you. A combat healer with an aggressive co uh, attack type is going to be pretty overpowered. But yeah guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of this new, I guess, skills for the outfits. What you guys think? Should they brought it into the game? Are you mad that they brought it into the game? Or are you guys hype? <laughs> but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, rage, Hit me up in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.